They're always here on time. Everybody shows up. And it's, it always makes it so much better when, when they want to be here versus, uh, oh, we're going to go to school today. Yeah. You know, it's like, you know, a lot of kids live, you know, in the building over there, they're, they'd love to be over here to do this. But they have to audition to get in here. I'm really big on voice of choice because uh, why should I dictate what some old Bach or Beethoven song that they've never heard before and don't like? I let them pick the songs that they play that they want to play. I just make sure they're school appropriate because uh, you know we have to take, take the sex and the drugs out of the rock and roll. <laughs> you know? So the curriculum actually is just you know. So we, we start out. We name our bands at the beginning of the school year because it's a whole school year prog progress. And so they pick their names of the band, then they pick the songs and we go through whether it's appropriate. And then what I do after that is um, thank God for you know the internet and YouTube and things like that because we can look at YouTube and listen to the song and play along with it. And then I'll go through them with the guitar players, show them their parts, work with the drummers to get their parts down, you know, work with the bass players at each individual. And then usually the, the whole time the singers are trying to get their the, the words memorized and the melodies and things like that. And then we and then usually after a couple of weeks we start putting one or two songs together. And then as we go along we add more songs. So by the time you know by the time spring rolls around they'll have fifteen songs in each band. <laughs> Probably when you reach the point where like the band is actually working together and the songs actually sound like songs and it's not just noise and it's it's, it's a very relieving feeling. So if I remember correctly, there's like two schools in the state of Oregon that do anything like this and they're like extracurricular activity. They're not. A... At first, I didn't even know how to hold my drumsticks. So I was like, wow, how am I going to learn how to play drums? I can't hold drumsticks. Being a drummer has definitely helped with mainly my fear of crowds because we perform in front of crowds a lot and it's started to help me with my self-confidence a little bit because I have to get up there and just do it. I love it because not only do we learn just how to play the instruments, Mr. Fantilli teaches us how to play it well, the good technical aspects of it, and we just overall learn how to work as a group really well. Yeah, two years ago, I was a socially awkward eighth grader, and I wouldn't even talk in front of crowds, let alone play drums. <laughs> The nice thing about this is, is they'll play music the rest of their lives, you know. And, you know, not to not to dish the other music programs or anything, but you know, a lot of people after they graduate high school or college, they don't pick up their clarinet again. You know, <laughs> they don't. They just don't. The guitar seems to last a lot longer, you know, than a lot of the other instruments. So I think that helps. Some of these kids, I think, could, could actually go somewhere with their music. Yeah.